Kia ora and welcome. Kia ora and welcome to Wake Up New Zealand. I'm Tiana. And I'm Ricky. And today's story is a new crime wave is sweeping the country in the form of woolen graffitis. Scientists have invented an invisibility cloak. We helped them find it. And the latest weather update. But first, if you think the world is getting more and more topsy-turvy, it turns out you're right. Builders in Germany have built an upside-down house which rests on its roof. Inside, there are beds screwed into the ceilings, upside-down wardrobes, an upside-down an upside down kitchen, and even an upturned bathroom. We cross now to our reporter, Kalia. Thanks. I'm here with the owner of the house, Alicia. What are the most... Oh, why did you break... Oh, miss. What made you build this completely upside down house? Because it was interesting. What are, my, what are the, some of the favourite things about this upside down house? That I can walk on the roof. What are some of the... Oh, why did... Oh, oh what, are this, what are the most challenging things about living in this upside down house? Did the food was off your plate? Now for a story that is truly out of sight. Scientists in Europe have created an invisibility cloak which can hide objects by bending light waves. However, since inventing this ability, invisibility cloak, scientists have been having trouble finding it. The inventor says as soon as we put it down somewhere, it just disappears. Hoping to see through the reasons behind the invisibility cloak. Here is our reporter, Holly. Hello, I'm Holly and with me is Jolie, the scientist behind the invisibility cloak. So, what made you want to invent an invisibility cloak? When I was younger, I always used to lose and hide and go seek, so I decided to make it so I could just throw it on myself and hide. Can you show me how the invisibility cloak works? Well, I would if I could find it. Come on. You just throw it over yourself and voila, it disappeared. Whoa. What do you hope the cloak will be used for? Mini games. Well, that makes things very clear. Thanks for joining us. Back to you in the studio. Thanks, Holly. Next up, there's a new wave of graffiti crime is covering the country. Thanks to an underground gang known as the Midnight Knitters, without permission, these woolly criminals are covering tree branches and lampposts with jerseys and scarves in the dead of the night. Police say we are stitching together a case, but there is no real problem to the crimes. We cross now to Charlotte with an exclusive interview. Thanks, I'm Charlotte, and joining me is a member of the Midnight Knitters Gang. Yo, yo, and thanks for joining us. What led you into the dark, into the dark underworld of the knitted graffiti? My dad. Do you see yourself as a criminal? Why or why not? Why not? Apart from trees and lampposts, what else would you like to graffiti with your woolens? Everything. Thanks for your time. Back to you all at the desk. Well, at least they'll be warm if they get caught and go to jail. Now let's have a look at the weather up and down the country with Charlotte. What's in store? Thanks, Ricky and Tiana. Let's have a look at tomorrow's weather. In Auckland, there'll be a mix of fair conditions and unfair conditions, but those are the conditions and you'll just have to accept them. There will be no weather at all for Hamilton. It's taking a short holiday, but is expected to be back in the week for the weekend. Wellington has another capital day with 
no windy, no wind at all. So keep calm and carry on. Christchurch will be cold and unfriendly until late morning. The sun will, then the sun will pop over for a visit. Everybody likes the sun. That's all from me. Now it's back to the news desk. Thanks, Charlotte. Well, that's all we have time for. We hope you've enjoyed today's show. Thank you all for watching and we'll see you again next time. Until then, I'm Ricky. And I'm Chana for Wake Up New Zealand. Goodbye! Goodbye.